Welcome all back. I'm in the spirit. I am repping my White Sox jersey. My family's from Southside Chicago before we moved out to North County, San Diego, before this guy was born in the early 80s out here. That's enough about me. It's lunchtime. I hope you guys are eating something dank for lunch today. I have three bundles to start. There is, once again, so much action happening in these unwrapping. I see a few that look similar. It looks like a ton of different brands just from like side profiling. I'm ready to get right in with you guys. Thanks again for watching. Uh, same messaging goes out with all these videos. If you're interested in any of these decks, hit us up. Uh, we're looking to find a good home for them. This is, we've had on to these for many years and uh, ready for the next step. Ready for these to be on your, on your wall for sure. Uh, so let's get right into it with a gem of a board. I remember this board when it came out. This is a Death Wish Before Dishonor felt graphic deck. This has a felt applique all on it. There's no scratches here. There's like a little bit of lint because it's shown so you can feel the texture, but this board is in A condition. And you can even see some of the felt rubbing off on the side. Unique though, there's no top graphic. Um, so this might've been an early sample or a team board, but that board is pretty insane. Back to back, awesome. How about number 308 of 500? Crooked Weight Spire, guest model. Perfect in time for Halloween with the Dracula, <laughs> the Dracula, holy smokes. And then it says, I love Slayer right here with like blood splatter on it. This board is insane. Crooked collab decks are, have always been my, one of my favorite unique products in skateboarding. And I haven't seen physically many of these ever. Um, and it's just, Incredibly awesome. Uh, check this out. Ryan Carpenter for versus skateboards. Not sure what's going on there, but it looks like it was a wall hanger because it's got some strings on it. So if you're looking for a Ryan Carpenter VS or versus skateboard, check that one out. That one's kind of a, a jammy jam. Are you tired of dead end jobs, debt collectors, traffic? Start an exciting new career in homelessness. <laughs> um, this is the Anti-Hero Help Department, one of eight, uh, Julian Stranger model from Anti-Hero. Dude, we're here to help Anti-Hero skateboards. We're here to help you out. D tired of all that rat race? Hit the streets. Seems like everyone else is too. Oh man. How about uh, the Pinhead? Uh, Troy Pro model. Um, oh man, we have the whole series right here. All right, yeah, this is the first one. Here is the Jason Adams Two-Face Kid, which is pretty gnar both ways. So we got the Troy, the Jason Adams. How about the Watkins General Pete Thumb? <laughs> Um, and then we got the Alfaro uh, dog face boy. Man, I don't know when these ones came out, but these are hilarious. And then, uh, dude, jerk in China, China with the Siamese twins. And then Czech Childress with the bearded lady. We are gonna put this set and keep it all together. There are six decks in this set. Um, We'll photograph them and lay them all out at the end of the video, but six decks in this series, all in great condition. Man, that's just awesome. Um, brands, when they put series together, like, like Antihero does, like Label does, like Girl and Chocolate Do. I mean, a lot of brands, you know, Alien Workshop over the years. It's just, it's tight. I like it. I like those unique things. That's what makes this such a unique world we're living in. Oh, this is a Cyril Jackson uh, signed board right here. Cyril Jackson. Thanks, Dave, for holding it down. This is a pretty awesome piece of the collection. Cyril Jackson for uh, Baker Skateboards. Oh, this is uh, awesome. Creature Babes board. 
with the firecrackers and the bum bum. Uh, 300 pieces made of this. It's numbered, but this cardboard piece is kind of covering it. Oh uh, yeah, 39 of 300. That creature babes board. There was a poster of this uh, creature did that was awesome. That's Todd Ratrude um, on the graphic there. Pretty amazing. Um, Terrell Robinson for robber skateboards. There's a few different um, Terrell Robinson boards in the mix. Um, yeah, Selfish Skateboards was another brand that he was riding for, Terrell Robinson. Pretty dope. Oh uh, yeah, this one says, uh, Mother, yep. <laughs> Straight out of Mother Flipping Compton right there. Terrell Robinson. <whistles> classic, classic Compton graphic. And this one is, uh, this one signed uh, from Terrell to Dave. Dave, thanks for the support. Terrell Robinson. Sign that one up. These are some unique ones right here. This is a Sam Hits creature deck that's just in your face. The detailing on this is so unique creature with the gnarly metal, black metal, the crazy details. I would love to know who did the art on this one. They did a lot of work with many, many artists over the years along that same styling. That one's pretty dope. Here's a Reese Forbes Stacks deck. In two sizes, medium and large, and they're marked on the bottom there, M and L, 8.0, 8.25, stacked skateboards. And this is a fun guy, not like fun guy mushrooms, but uh, how about Mike V for Element Skateboards? This elephant's been around. Uh, it found its way on an element board too, over the years. Proper 7.875, and this is him holding a mic. Mike holding the mic. I wonder if that was during the Black Flag or Rug. He was singing with those dudes. Um, shout out to Mike Vallely. Love you, man. Nick Garcia. Um, welcome board to Element. With the shovels. Oh, damn. One of my favorite skaters ever. How about Sal Barbier, Crooked Guest Model? Yeah. <laughs> Nick Matlin for Beer Run Skateboards. Uh, he signed it. Thanks for the love, Dave. Uh, oh, shit. Um, I do. How about a Rudy Johnson signed girl skateboards? Uh, this is on the back, it says 2002 wooden OG series. So yeah, 20 year old girl deck signed by Rudy Johnson. This is insane. Man, there's some gems. Some of these stacks, you don't really know what we're getting, but man, Darrell Stanton for plan B. I remember his part on recipe for disaster on real. Uh, I saw that at the bottom of the hill in San Francisco and I got this massive poster that was in my room forever. Um, but there's a Plan B Durrell deck. Pretty dope. Yeah. And then, oh yeah. I don't know. It's pretty wild. I noticed that while I flipped it, Shepherd Fairy uh, on the bottom there. Limited edition series. So in his styling, which is minimal Obey branding, Shepherd Fairy. Oh, damn. Um, my hands are getting a little dirty, but this is the third Crooked Guest model of the mix. This is number 32 of 600. This is a Stevie Williams Crooked Guest board. Stevie Williams. Right after we got the Sal Barbier. Sheesh. Pretty awesome. This is also signed by Paul Otbos. Um, first time I've seen this name and brand. Pretty dope deck. Um, oh man. 
How about a real Max Shaft deck? It's like painted ply around it, but like, <laughs> it's not dipped, it's like red and black. It's all over the place, but this board, uh, it's probably a 775, but just a definite, I want to say 2000s real deck. Um, and then Antoine Dixon for Death Wish Skateboards. <sighs> Pretty gnarly. And then last one in this batch is uh, Dander Hobel Crooked Deck. Um, it has a little magazine on the inside of this. Can't really get to it, it's in there, but uh, definitely an OG deluxe board with that DLXSF.com sticker. An amazing stack. We have hit some amazing grails in this. We're gonna lay these all out, shoot us a message. We are stoked to go through this with you and um, I'm gonna get working in the warehouse and get back to you guys tomorrow with a whole new video with 30 or 40 more decks. Thanks for joining us for lunchtime at Western. We'll see you. Check us out.